Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, uh, I'm Kenny. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I will really appreciate that. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. In today's video, I'll be reviewing some Rimmel London makeup products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Can't surprise that bell besides subscribe button so you are notified of my new uploads. Anytime I have a new video up here, you will be the first to get the notification. Like I said, I'll be reviewing some Rimmel London some Rimmel London makeup products which I got complimentary of Influencer. If you didn't know, Influencer is like a website or a platform where you you have an account there, you sign in there, you review products there, you give your thoughts on some products there, you share some favorite products there, and once you've accumulated some points or something, I'm not so sure how it works, they will send you some products to try out and for you to review for free. So this is my second time of getting a Vox box. It's actually called a Vox box. The first one I got was some Max Factor lip products. This is what I got for this month Vox box. The first product I got is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Invisible Coverage Visibly Perfected Skin Foundation in the shade 601 soft chocolate and it has SPF of 15. The second product I got is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer in the shade 060 Mocha. And the, and the other products I got are these lip products which are the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors. I got it in the shade Plunge, the shade Be My Baby, and the shade strip they left a card in there signifies like the perfect nude for each skin tone like my skin tone is supposed to be plunge which i can say when you're saying nude for dark skin this is nude for dark skin okay so i'm gonna start with the review of the foundation this is the foundation it comes in a glass bottle packaging with pump which i think everybody appreciates when a foundation packaging comes with a pump that gives it a plus i love the packaging it's so sleek for the concealer it comes in a skew squeeze out tube with a brush applicator like delegate concealer like that so that is what this comes in i'm gonna jump into the demo now to show you what the foundation and the concealer looks on my skin tone okay guys so this is my fresh face it just so happens that i have some brimmer products so i want to incorporate them into this video i'm gonna start by priming my face with the rimmel stay matte primer To fill in my brows, I'll be using the Rimmel Brow Pencil in Black Brown. Okay guys, I'm done with my eye makeup now. I'm going to move on to the face. This is one of the products I'll be reviewing today. The Rimmel Match Perfection Invisible Coverage Visibly Perfected Skin foundation in the shade 601 soft chocolate and i'm gonna put out two and a half pump of the foundation at the back of my arm at the back of my hand and to blend the foundation into my skin i'm using the rimmel um i'm using the real techniques buffering brush okay guys so this is what the color of the foundation is looking like on my skin looking at it this is not my this is not my first time of using it i already i've already used it twice so looking at the color, I don't like the undertone of the color straight out there. The color, it matches me, but the undertone of it is off. So it's looking as if it's lighter than, it's lighter than my skin tone, but it's not. It's just that the undertone of it is off. So I'm going to blend it into my skin now. For the consistency of it, it's lightweight. It's really, really lightweight. As you can see, as I'm blending it into my skin, my skin is like soaking it up. It's not looking as if... I'm wearing, I'm um, applying any foundation to my skin, but because of the undertone of it, that is why it's looking so visible. It's the color of it that I can see, but the foundation itself is like disappearing into my skin. I don't know if you can say that. This is my face without any foundation, and this is my face with the foundation. As you can see, it has somewhat like a light to medium coverage. It's more than light. It's a little bit more than light, somewhat medium, but not full medium coverage. I can still see some of my dark spots and I have pigmentation peeping through. Okay guys, this is 
is my face once I blend all of the foundation. Like I said, it's looking kind of gray on camera in person in my mirror. It's looking straight kind of gay. That is because the undertone of it is a little bit off, like I said. But for the coverage of it, for the color of it, it's somewhat like my skin tone color, but the undertone of it is off. For the coverage of it, it has medium coverage. My hyperpigmentation here and my dark spots are still pink through. But for the finish of it, I think it's still settling. Normally, it would look kind of oily and radiant, radiant now. But if I give it, a, um, if I give it some couple of minutes or some seconds, it's going to set and it's going to set matte. So the second product, which is the concealer, the Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer in the shade 060 Mocha. This concealer reminds me of the LA Girl concealer because of the packaging of it, the color of it. So it comes with a brush applicator. Like I said, this is not my first time of using this product. It has, it's a yellow based concealer, which I think most dark skin people or person of my skin tone love a good concealer with yellow undertone so i really love the undertone of it honestly since i've got it i think it's the only concealer i've been using since i've got it it doesn't feel thick and cakey like the elegant concealer it feels not runny but lightweight i'm gonna blend the concealer now into my skin and it's blending really really nicely as you can see it's not even giving me any problem and it's not getting patchy or anything like that it's blending really nicely stay put it's not disappearing to my sponge or my foundation <laughs> this is my face once i'm done blending the concealer in it now as you can see it covers my under bag not so much but it covers it pretty well and it's not settling in my pores or, em or emphasizing any texture issues or anything like that. It's just a very beautiful, inexpensive concealer which I love so much. Like I said, since I got it, it's the only concealer that I've been using because I love the consistency, I love how it blends, and I love the coverage of it. And like I said, it's not that cakey, thick concealer, it's just lightweight and every it's a lightweight and an everyday wearable concealer. I'm gonna set my under eyes. So I'm gonna finish up my face now and then I'll come back to give you my thoughts on the foundation, the concealer, and also the liquid lipsticks. Okay guys, so this is my face once I'm done with my makeup. I've been wearing this makeup honestly for about two, three hours now because I had to quickly rush out before I could finish filming this video. But this is what my makeup looks like after doing every other thing, after applying my blush, my highlight my um after bronzing up my face it's just brought everything together but i won't i won't lie you this foundation is too gray for my lightning when i first applied it it was looking very grayish and beigey and too cool tone for me for once i'm done with my bronzing and my setting and my highlighting it brought everything together i still see some ashiness on the center of my face but the outermost part of my face is bronzed up with my bronzer and it's brought everything together when i was applying the foundation i was not even i was not sure about it but now that i'm looking at myself in the mirror on camera screen i'm loving every bit of what i'm seeing i can't even believe that this foundation that when i first put the brush on my face that i've just used my mind to condemn it is what i'm looking at right now because it's giving me every vibe of fabulous beautiful it's just beautiful oil control this is about three hours of wear now and as you can see no oil is peeping through not really any oil is peeping through in my face although it's breaking up around my nose right there which i think that's due to the fact that i went in with a little bit of too much powder when i was setting my face so okay guys so this is what my face is looking like after about five hours of wear. it's 4 12 now and it was around 11 a.m i think it was even earlier than that that i sat down to start filming this video with the foundation so and this is what my face is looking like honestly i was not even expecting this of this foundation like i said the first my first impression of it was that this foundation is just a full on no no for me but looking at it after five hours of wear and this is what my t-zone is looking like i've not even got oily really well 
For the flash photography test, I'm going to put the picture right here for some minutes. As you can see, it has a teeny, teeny, weeny, weeny bit of flashback in your flash photograph. It's not so bad that it's a condemnable flashback, but it's something I can really just work with with a little bit of editing. So, for that, I'll give you this foundation, I think 3.5 in 5 because. I love the packaging, I love the light weight, I love the visible coverage, I love that this is an 8 pound foundation and it's looking as beautiful as this but I don't like the undertone of the foundation. For the concealer, I really love this concealer, it's lightweight, it was when I first opened it, the applicator and the packaging and the applicator, it was looking kind of like the LA Girl concealer in front but it is more lightweight and more blendable than the LA Girl concealer in front and it has a pretty good coverage after i set it like i said this is about three hours after i've worn this makeup it's not certainly in my fine lines or anything like that so this is about three hours that i've been wearing it it's not creasing or circling anywhere for the concealer i'm going to be giving it five over five straight okay so this is the three liquid lipstick swatch this is plunged this is be my baby and the third one which is the lightest one is tripped. I really love these three liquid lipstick. I'm wearing the three of them on my lips today to give me this perfect cool tone nude which I'm feeling every way. So this is what plunged look like on my skin tone. It's like a cool tone brown nude and it's so beautiful because shade be my baby it's like a peachy nude a pu a peachy nude that is the color stripped that is what is looking like on my skin so guys so that's that for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you do please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave me nice comments in the comment section below i'll really appreciate that can me in the comment section below have you tried any of the more london product before have you tried any of these products before? Share your thoughts in the comment section below if you've done that. If you have tried them before. Have you got any box box before? Are you an influencer? Do you reside in the UK? Are you an influencer UK? Let me know in the comment section below. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.